Welcome back to Duffy Woodcraft. This week we're going to do two projects for your Halloween parties. They're simple and super easy on the CNC. First, we're going to do a coffin shaped charcuterie board. This is a simple profile cut that will cut out on the CNC. You can do this with whatever type of wood you have laying around. In this case, I have a piece of walnut that I had laying around the shop. I'll put it on the CNC and have it quickly cut out the coffin shape for me. Once it's done, I'll pull it off and give it a good slap to get rid of all that dust. <laughs> Using a hammer and chisel to take care of those tabs left over from the CNC. Then I'll run it through the planer to take it down to the proper thickness. And then it's over to the router table to give it a quick round over. And then it's time for sanding, which means it's time for this week's... Sanding Thoughts with Duffy Woodcraft. Yeah. The coffin has changed multiple times throughout history. In the early Neolithic period, the earliest coffins were simple stone boxes. In ancient Greece, they were ornate marble boxes. And in the Civil War, a shift from the older hexagonal coffin to the more popular rectangular coffin was due to their widespread adoption of embalming. Today in the 21st century, coffins are available in a wide variety of options, including eco-friendly coffins in organic burial pods that will turn you into a beautiful tree. Now that sanding's completed, we'll go ahead and wrap up this project for now, and we'll come back to it when we finish our second project. So I'm gonna show you a new tool that we haven't talked about on this channel yet, which is the trace bitmap tool. So this is a very easy tool inside of VCarve that you can take a clip art image, so in this case, a pumpkin and a bat, and make vectors out of them. So if I click the tra trace bitmap tool, I need to move this because of my record window. Uh, I can click on each image and then click tr preview to trace the bitmap. I like both of them, so I will close that. And then now I have vectors already, so I can select the images and I can delete them. And now what I'll do is I'll select both of these and I'll ungroup them so that I can modify a few things. As you see, I don't like the way the stem turned out for the project that I'm doing. So I'm gonna quickly remove those vectors and reclose this one here that it didn't quite close properly. So voila, there we go. So now I've got my vectors that I wanna do. Now let's make them a little bit bigger so that we can cut them out to the best size of our products here. Once I got this to the right size, I'm gonna go ahead and select the inner items on my image. And what I'm doing is I'm making these the pockets, so the inside of the trays. So if I go ahead and select all of them, and if I select pocket, my material is three quarters of an inch, so I wanna go down half an inch. I'm gonna use my bull bit. Um, so one of the two, or one of the three bits the CNC with me, in this case, we're gonna use two for this project, the bull bit and the downtown Jenny bit as well. So next, after I have my pockets, I'm gonna go ahead and do the cutouts, so the profiles. And once I've selected that, I'm just gonna quickly add a couple of tabs, add tabs, and voila. Oops, reset, preview, all, here we go. And you can see within a couple of minutes, we've got two trays that we can easily cut out on the CNC. So part of this week's project, we're gonna be using a new material called BAMX. Now this is technically a plywood, it's three ply, but it's completely made of bamboo. So it's renewable, it's um, food safe and strong, and it's super easy to cut on the CNC. I really like this. You'll see the three ply here, it's really pretty. It's a walnut colored bamboo on the outside. Bamboo's uh, natural color in the middle, which is going the opposite direction, so in this case vertically, and then you've got um, the walnut color again on the other side. So it makes this really beautiful contrast, and once you put finish on it, you'll see it's just it just shines through. It's really cool. I like it. So we're going to make some trays out of this. I have found so far, after a couple of months of some other trays I've used with it, uh, that they don't really bend or warp over time, so I'm really liking this material a lot. You can get it from the CIC workshop website and it is about $14 per board foot with shipping. So let's go ahead and make our trays. I'll hold down the BAMX using some double-sided tape and a couple of clamps. I'll zero out the bit and then get it started. We're going to start with the bull bit and then move down to the quarter inch downtown Jenny bit. These are two of the three bits to CNC with me from Cadence Manufacturing. I'll put a link in the description to these bits as they are the only ones I use on the market. Well, unfortunately, the bat isn't going to work out. 
um, as the CNC was cutting, it hit one of the clamps that was holding it down here in the corner and messed up the Z and X and it cut right through here and then back over here. So unfortunately the bat isn't going to be salvageable, but the pumpkin cut out just fine. So let's finish up with that. I'll do a little bit of hand sanding here just to get over the rough edges. Then I'll take it over to my laser pecker too to add a little spider web laser design on the back. Then finish it with some tongue oil and the next morning I'll hit it with some wax. I'll also do our charcuterie board the same way. There we go, our projects are complete. I've got our coffin charcuterie board and our pumpkin tray. Let's talk about the costs. Starting with the coffin charcuterie board, I got this wood from Gobi Walnut where you buy, buy the pound out of their bargain bins. So I spent $7 on that piece of walnut. The consumables were about $2, so my total cost is $9. If I was to sell this at a market, I would sell it for $40. The pumpkin tray was almost identical, except the wood was a little bit more expensive at $15 a board foot. So the consumables were the same, so my cost there is $17, but my market price would stay the same at $40. I really like this Bamex material. It adds so much to your project with no effort on your end. The color variation just has so much to it. It looks really great and you didn't have to do anything. So check it out on CIC Workshop's website. I'm not sponsored by them. I just think this is a great material. I hope you guys have a wonderful ha Halloween and have a great night. Be safe out there. I have new videos coming out in two weeks, so make sure you like and subscribe. And we'll see you soon. Bye.